Hi there, welcome to the channel and welcome to this next video in the tutorial series. This one's called Carry Command 2, A Beginner's Guide. Now, I did, I've done a couple of tips videos and advanced tips, but people have requested that I actually do a guide from like starting the game and what the beginners do. Now, I've turned the tutorial off here, um, and I'm just going to kind of maybe go to the first island, get that, and just give you some idea of what I'm thinking when I'm playing this. So let's just start. Now, if you do the tutorial, it'll tell you how to do this. I just don't want to have the stuff in the way, so I've kind of um, I've just turned that off. So we're going to deploy the carrier, and then it's going to move down here, and it's going to stop there. So first thing I do is pretty much look at the hollow map, and I'm going to start deciding some islands. Now, if you're a newbie and you haven't got this mod installed, the UI Enhancer mod. You'll have to go to this screen here to see what each island is worth. So this is your logistics screen. I'm not going to go in depth on each of these screens either because I've got a separate guide for that. So I'll let you look at them um, if you want like a deep dive. Well, not a deep dive, but like if you want a, just an overview of what each console does. In fact, I think um, there is someone who does do a deep dive video for a couple of these. I'll see if I can find the links and put them in the description. So anyway, um, I'm just looking at what's around me. Now really, you need a fuel island close by because you know that's my priority when I set out and possibly a utility island so you can get virus bots. And then you can also see what you're going to unlock. Now it doesn't really say much to you, them pictures there. But you can see what you'll unlock by going to the island. And as you play, you'll sort of learn what these are. Um, I think you can find out by clicking on these. So if I want to unlock the 120mm shell, I can look at this picture here and I can look for that on um, on this screen here. So if I look there, I've got 40, 100, and there I can unlock the 120mm there. So that's how you kind of tell what you're going to unlock. Just If you don't know what the picture is, just go to here, click on it, it'll show you the picture and that's what you're unlocking. So I'm just going to keep it simple. I know if I go here, I can get walruses and see and what is that are they seals <laughs> let's have a look or maybe even bears let's have another look at that oh yeah it looks like, like a bear i think oh no yeah bear and walruses um So I'm probably going to go there first. So let's start off so I can talk while I'm doing this. Make sure you turn your engine on. Green button there. And then I'm kind of just going to turn around to face this island here. So you've got three screens in front of you. It's personal preference what you want on these. By the way, another thing. If you want to turn quite a long way, or if you just want this to stay where it is, click the steering lock and it will just turn. And you don't have to worry about it flinging back. So on this one, I'm going to select ocean depth because I like to know how deep the water is around and I'll zoom that in a little bit. So when I arrive at the next island, that's there. On this one, I'll just keep as cartographic just so I can see the islands and what's coming up. Now, if you notice, I've just overturned. So I'm going to turn towards the island now. I'm just going to zoom this out a little bit so I can see where the next one is. And then once you know you're on course, let's just turn this off so I'm going straight. You just want to flick maintain heading. And it will try to keep to this heading for you. And then on this one I generally put ocean current, but there's so many options, you know, you can you can pick whatever you want. Okay. So we're on our way. Let's just have a look. So this island's called Deadlock, it's a one shield island. And when we get a bit closer, we can see where the command center is. Over here, this is where you can load out your vehicles. So at the minute, I've got an albatross. got two of them and two razor bills. And you can change the loadout of these. So I might change these to, this is my personal favorite. But I like to have um, auto cannons on these. So I'm going to change them. 
and these are my seals so you can see I've got my my seals all equipped there these have just got um 30 millimeter cannons on and this one has got the virus bots so the idea is when you take over an island you need to put this seal next to a command center drop these virus bots and these will take over the island for you which I'll show you when we get closer if you do have a unit destroyed you need to get the chassis delivered to you and then if you're not sure how to equip that chassis you just click on an empty slot and then whatever you've got in stock will be down here so if I click over here look I haven't got any in stock there another tip I should have really covered I've still got time to I suppose is when you're at your warehouse island at the beginning so sorry so this is your warehouse island and when you take over an island you kind of have to drag it so anything that's built on there will come back to here and then any barges assigned to this island will bring it to your carrier okay you also need barges assigned to these as well so I can like, assign that to this one once I've captured it and that barge will work this island and that one but the minute I've got stuff in stock on this warehouse island so if I click it I can see what's in stock here I can also see what's in stock here so I might want to take a few things while I'm close by so I'm gonna take a couple of seals um, a couple of walruses um, I'll take a razor bill and I'll take some fuel as well Let's, do you know what I'm gonna take all the fuel Uh, what else can we take? Got some cruise missiles. They could be useful. We'll take a couple of those. Well, maybe a few of those. And do we have any 160? No, we've got a lot here. 20 millimeter flares. So while you're close by, it's worth doing that. And if we look, the barge is now loading this up. You can see how much it's uh, carrying. So there, it's full now. So it's going to bring it to me, and that's just carrying the seals and the walruses. So now that's full and loaded up, it should be heading its way to me. There, yeah. If I click on barges, it's delivering the order to the carrier and it's got the distance there. And it looks like I might be able to see it. It's on the other side of the island at the minute. Oh, we're going really slow, sorry about that. So that barge is on its way to me. Now when you travel into the island, you'll notice I've just put full speed. That's not always the best. If you're worried about fuel, try to start with the red zone because I've heard your fuel efficiency gets better and you don't use as much fuel if you're not in the red zone. And what you can do as well, if you look over here, I've got no weapons online or anything so my propulsion is going as best as it can. Once it's that colour, that's going as fast as it's going to go. If I do that look, you can see it. Over if I turn some weapons on, this is now dropped. So that's affected my speed up here because I'm drawing power to another system. So let's turn these off. Power's gone up, and my speed has increased. And we're on the way to the next island. How's that barge coming? That's coming down nicely there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I like to scout islands first. So I'm gonna look on here and I wanna scout this island. Now, I am gonna launch a vehicle here. Now, word of warning, if the sea's bad, and um, there is a possibility it could crash into the waves, so you gotta be careful. So I'm gonna slow down a little bit the sea doesn't look too bad and I'm just going to keep an eye when I launch so two ways to launch I can click on one of these buttons here and it will automatically deploy it so if you're in a rush it's good for doing that however I like to click on this select what I want to launch and then I can give it a waypoint so I'm going to head it towards the island about here and then what you want to do is the default altitude is 400 so you want to click on this if you're not using the, the mod these won't show up you'll just have these 
and then what I would do is I would make sure you've got it about 2,000 meters now this isn't high enough to not get detected this is just out of the range of guns that are going to fire at you I believe missiles can still get you so you've got to keep an eye I'm going to put it to 2,000 I'll do it the manual way because that's how you'll be doing it if you haven't got the mod now I've set that one waypoint any waypoint I set after this will automatically be that height okay so it's best to set this one first and then do the rest if I did this and then that changing the altitude here wouldn't change the one for here so I'm just going to draw some waypoints don't want any really sharp turns so I'm doing it like this and then what I can do is I can join this up and that will now loop so once the albatross gets to here it's going to fly this course and just keep going around you've got to keep an eye on the fuel if you're doing that so let's have a look it's on the deck yep it looks like it's going to be alright for takeoff and there we go I'm going to speed up a little bit again what you can do is I might add my cruise missiles and my main gun and I'm going to take over the viewing scope here so this is the viewing scope and I can spot vehicles with this now I can't move at the minute I need to change it to manual so bottom left manual and then change the stabilization to tracking because as I zoom in you can see look if I point at anything it's moving away moving with the carrier if I do stabilization that helps somewhat I believe some speed does affect it if, I, if the carry is moving it still affects it however if you do tracking it will keep it in that spot so as you can see there's the command centre I'm too far away to tag anything I think I need to be within about a few thousand I'm about 6,000 away at the moment I can see a lot of enemy units so I'm just going to zoom out there's my albatross, so let's switch to that and see what we can see. I'll turn these off. Now, if you're playing solo, keep an eye on your carrier. At the minute, it's heading straight for the island. So I'm just going to bring it just that way a little bit, just in case, because if I do forget to do this, it's only going to go past, it's not going to crash into anything. And I'll maintain heading. Okay, we'll zoom in. See the uh, albatross is looping around. Now I can click on that and see loads of stuff. Like the hit health points. Or hit points. Uh, the fuel and the ammo. And what weapons it's carrying. I can sense it's a vehicle to get it in the middle. Or I can click camera and it will actually connect me to that vehicle. Now at the top... I've got some options now the default one is um, the vehicle controls if I press 2 I've got a gimbal camera installed then I've got a couple of missiles which are 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 are my cannons if I was going to take this manually so let's just take this manually uh, the cannons here if I press manual that doesn't give me control of the vehicle it will let me fire the cannons, but it doesn't give me control of it. Same for the missiles, so I can manually fire the missiles, but I can't control the vehicle. So if I go to, let's say I want to control the cannons, and the vehicle, after you've got them, go back to your vehicle control. Now it's manual, and if you want the targeting information on the screen, just press one or the other two. And it will still let you can control the it'll still let you can control the craft even though I'm in my vehicle section. Okay, I'm just gonna turn them off and go turn it back to auto. See it went a bit off course there, so now it's gonna rejoin that, that loop. Let's just see where the carrier is. Okay, my carrier's in a good position here. It's not getting fired at, which is a bonus. And before I do anything else, 
let's just tag some enemies. So, Albatross is there. A, a shortcut if you want to just directly control it quickly. Just hover over it and press R. I'm going to go to my gimbal camera. Take it manual. And now I'll, I also want tracking. And now I can zoom in. And there we go. Look at that. Look how many is there now. There's a lot of enemies there. So let's take this opportunity. We'll fire a cruise missile at him. So if you want to use some support weapons, you need to be careful of the ammo on these because they are nice to use, but you do run out fast. So to scroll through my weapons, I can use my carrier missile, which is launched from my carrier, my carrier gun, which is launched from the carrier. I can use a flare to light up the area. I can use my ground artillery, so if a, a surface unit I've equipped with artillery, I can direct the fire there. And the guided missile, if anything's carrying a guided missile like a different albatross or a Riz bill, I can fire a guided missile from that here. So I'm going to fire a cruise missile, so I won't carry a missile. Now I'm going to click that. Okay, I need to press space for some reason. <laughs> oh, I changed it. So now on the left, you can see it's coming in. And it, you have to keep your reticle over where you want it to hit. Now, because these are stationary, I can just tap space and it will still go to that point. But if they're moving, you need to move with it because you are kind of directing the missile here. So if I press space now and these moved, I can't recontrol my missile. So the missile should be coming in. Let's zoom out, see if we can see it. There it comes. Boom, we got all of them. Brilliant. So another thing I'll explain is, when you do scan, first one you get the ID30, sorry, that's part of the mod as well, I believe. I've just noticed that, that's new. <laughs> so when you do your first scan, it will tell you what type of vehicle it is. So that's a seal, and then your second scan will tell you what weapon it's carrying. And if you notice, the further away, the longer it takes to scan. So that's a seal and it's carrying a gun, a ground-based gun. So it will still shoot at my aircraft, but it's not very effective. If it says AA, that means it's gonna, it's got AA capability and it will take your aircraft down pretty quickly. So seals, these will all be carrying 30 millimeter guns, so I'm just going to see what they all are. I don't think there's any walruses on here. Seal. Seal. Let's take this opportunity to get a few more. Let's use the carry gun. This, the ammo for this is rare. Well, it was rare. And I'm going to fire in the middle of these. See it getting a target and solution on the left. I think it'll fire five shots. And then we'll go there away. And that doesn't matter where I move now. Boom. Doesn't matter where I move, they've once they've fired they're they're going for whatever. Okay, so can we see any more? It's a little bit of a cheat that you can see the headlights. Oops. Seal. These are in water, so these are a nightmare to, to kill. If I fired my carry gun at them, they'd probably miss. Well, might hit the ground and cause some damage. So I think I'm pretty much tagged all the enemies. So let's do some... What we got? Let's do some albatross attack. And we'll go for something that's not in the water. Because that would be a nightmare. So let's go for this one, nice and nice one in the middle there. So what you can do is you can assign an attack command to, to a waypoint. So I'm gonna do it for this one. And I want it to fire two missiles. 
So when the carrier hits this waypoint, there you go. It's now going to attack this. You can watch it line up. Remember, if you're watching from your camera, you're not getting the true direction of the the albatross. So it's automatically going to line up. It's just going to get a bit of distance, so it's got a nice run up. There we go. We can see it turning. There we go. It's going to nose down, I believe. It's going to drop into a lower altitude, so it is vulnerable to attacks when you do runs like this. Oh, okay. It's firing from there. That's good. When you use the when you use the gun, it tends to do that, I suppose. Let's fire both the missiles. And I don't think it's got the target. I've asked for it, but it is going for something. Okay, it did get one there. Yeah, there has been a bit of a glitch. Um, missiles not going for the target they're meant to go for at the minute, so we'll put it down to that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get a gun run on it. Okay, so here we go. It's going to start lining up again for a shot soon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch some seals. Just going to launch them and put them here. Let's check this out. Oh, he's going for a steep run. There we go. Didn't even get below a thousand there, a thousand meters. So these are really effective, and once you start losing some ammo, it does flash up yellow, and then once it's run out, it'll be red. Fuel's a bit different. I think fuel goes yellow at 50, and then maybe below 20 or 25%, it goes red. So what we're going to do is, we're going to get that, and we're going to get a razor bill here. Got light as well. <laughs> it's the most useful thing. Um, again, if you're not using the UI mod, this looks different. I think if you're not using it, it just looks like that. Well, not even with all this. So don't worry if it looks a bit different. This is a mod. I'll put the link in the description if you fancy it. Okay, so there's my seals going. My razor bill's coming up now. And we're going to try and move these into a position where they can attack something. Okay, in fact, let's do this. Let's put them out of range there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to assign these a go code. So if I click on a waypoint, I can assign a go code. And then I can give waypoints after it. So I'm going to have an attack waypoint there. But these aren't going to do that until I've let them go from this point. And to give a go code, you just click, and you can click Alpha Go, or Bravo, or whatever. I'm also going to do it with the Razor Bill, but first off, with the Razor Bill, uh, what we've got, we've got, um, I wanted my gun one. Let's get this one as well. In fact, let's um, show you what I mean with this go code. As you can see there, the razor bill. It's got an attack order. But I've told it to attack after I've given it a go code. Now I've made a mistake there because I've given it the same go code as that one. So let's just change that. So let's do the Bravo go code. And now you can see it's going to attack. We'll watch from the albatross. Where is he? There he is. It's always fired the missile already.
And they did some damage. You can see their health underneath. Didn't kill them. So I'll give them another crack at it. If you can't get your target, zoom in a little bit. There you go. Do myself single. And there we go. There you go. He's run out of ammo now. So he served his purpose. Let's bring him back. Now these guys. Now something interesting's happened. The target I've given them has moved closer. So let's give them the go code and we can be able to see. Seems to be going up the hill. Don't know if I'm happy with that. I think I am. Let's uh, change. Let's change our mind. So we'll get these to attack these instead. And I'll give that an alpha go code. Now what I'm going to do with that other one, with this one here. Is I'm going to take my risible manual. I'm using a gamepad now for this. What I can do is I can use my throttle to basically push me up and down. And then if I tilt forward, I'm going to go forwards. So there's our target there. Manual cannons. There we go. Just wonder if he killed one of our seals, because I can't see it. Some targets over there too, let's clear these out. Those look like they're in the water. Let's leave you for now. Oh, they're good. I'm happy for these to go straight away, so I'm going to just say Alpha Go. See how the Razor Bill does on autopilot. Okay, may have been a bit close there. Let's bring him out of harm's way. And another thing you can do is, if I set a weapon like over here, and let's say I want to attack this group, I can just drag off here, click guns, and to another target, click guns, and to that one. Now, it's not going to keep attacking them until they die, it's just going to do one attack, come back, do the next one, come back, do the next one. You can see it there, it's going to start attacking these three, I've got my seals there, that are attacking these. Yeah, they're a bit difficult then. I think I might help you out a little bit. My seals are engaging there. The missile is 20 seconds away. No, I'm not taking my eyes off this because these are moving. There's the missile coming in there. My seals are still attacking. I'm just going to zoom in so I get a bit of accuracy and I'm going to try and aim for the middle one. Okay, we've got all them. So my razor bill is now free to support these. Not that they need it, they seem to have done the job quite well there. Yeah, they've done well. Okay. You guys can return back to base. I've cleared the island. The razor bill 
you can stay there just in case I've missed one. In fact, let's move you close to the command center. And then what we'll do next is deploy Kevin. Or deploy our virus bot. I call it Kevin. I don't know why. It just felt like he needed a name. <clears throat> now, a good idea, what I should have really set up earlier, is giving a go code to your virus bot as well. Normally, I give it a Delta go code. And then straight after that, so I'll, I'll put a waypoint where it's out of harm's way, where I know there's no enemies. And then I'll set up its mission. So its mission is to come here. He needs to deploy his vehicle. And then I want him to go straight back home. Now when you get petrols later on, you can pretty much deploy this, deploy the petrol, pick him up, bring him. He does his thing and take him back. So Kevin's on his way. Because the island's clear, I'm going to give the Delta Go code. So he's free to move after that one. You on your way back as well? Or are you stuck? Sometimes units get stuck. Let's just check on them. Not sure what you're doing. We'll just give you a bit of a kick up the bum. You gonna work now? Okay, you're going. Um, let's just have a look at our visible. Let's just double check the command center is safe. Really? Oh, the barge is there. Look. Our barge has arrived. Helicopters are really fun, by the way. Like, once you learn how to fly them, they are amazing. The trick is, you've got a little direction to care. So if you look now, it's in the middle and I can move it left. Oh, back this way, I can move it right. And that's basically the direction my helicopter's going. So if I want to go to the carrier, slowed down so it's been a bit finicky there he is so reduce power because we're going too high and there we go that's heading back to the carrier I can go down look by reducing the power and then I can go higher by increasing it and honestly, it's so rewarding to learn how to fly a razor bill. Because once you've um, once you've mastered the, the flying a little bit, just using your cannons to take stuff out. One, it's fun. Two, it's really helpful. And three, the AI sometimes doesn't do a great job, so you can do a better job. So there's the command center. I'm just waiting for Kevin to get here now. Look, yep, he's um, pretty close by. And press select to show my map if you look down the bottom left. So he's on his way. Let's uh, start heading this back to the carrier. The barge is off. There we go. And what I'll do is I'll just take that and I'll give it, give it a waypoint to dock back. Or maybe he didn't have a waypoint. So they're all good. Kevin's getting deployed. Uh, what else was I going to show you? Oh yeah, up here. You see a list of everything that's been destroyed. So we've got quite a few seals there. <clears throat> Over here is your delivery log. So I can see what them, that barge has just delivered. So ID3 and what he's brought me. Over here is your currency control or currency report. You can see how much you get for controlling more islands. Once you capture the island, you get a little bit of a bonus. I've got a uh, vehicle salvage. So when I destroyed the sea, look, it gave me like 100, 200, 100, 100. Okay. Not sure why I got two for that one. 
And then every minute I get an island control point, so I control one island at the minute. It might be one shield. These might be shields. But I get money every minute. Now, on the, in the mod, you can actually see the status of the control. So, Kevin's about to get there now. He's going to deploy. And then when he deploys... There it goes. I can see that it's getting taken over. And then if you look on here, you can see the progress. So once that's filled up, this island, this island I'll control. Let's bring the albatross in as well, because it's low on fuel. 17%. I've sometimes forgot to bring that one in. And then when you're ready to go, because I'm not going to wait for that to um, to happen, make sure you turn your weapons off that you're not going to use. Select your next target. So my next target would be probably maybe Chirisa and then get the fuel. But it's up to you, you know. Don't forget to have a look on here. So you can see what you're getting, depending where you go. Um, another one. Barge Island. So you can make some more barges. So I would say that's quite a priority, because after you've got three or four islands, one barge it's going to take a very long time. And then another thing I would do is maybe assign one barge to your warehouse, to your new island, and then your next one to your warehouse and another one. Maybe you have one badge for each, so you're not relying on one badge to go to three different islands to collect an order. And then maybe just have one or two just assigned to your warehouse, so if you do put in an order, you're not waiting for a badge to come back. Just a few tips. Oh, and your money's up there, look. Um, to make something, so now... Have we got this? I might have to wait for this. That's nearly done anyway. There we go. And Kevin's on his way back. There he is. So we've captured the island. Let's see what we've unlocked. We've got bears and walruses now. It's brilliant. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to link this badge to that island. So it's linked to the warehouse and to this factory. Notice my warehouse is attached to me. If I do that, I can unlink it. But I, I want it linked there. And then what I can do now is I can produce bears. Which I don't have enough money for. <laughs> so I can make a walrus if I want, because I've got enough money for a walrus. So I could press 1 there. I think you default start with seals, so I'll just make a seal as well. Once it's built, the barge will come collect it and then take it back so this barge in a moment will probably is it finished? is it refitting? oh it's building it now look so once that's built this barge will collect from this island and bring it back to the warehouse and then if I order one on here as soon as one becomes available it'll get a barge to send it to me um, I think that's it for a basic guide just to get you started with an island um, how some of the things work don't get too overwhelmed you know don't bite off more than you can chew don't be afraid to do, not go for an island and go for an easy one there's the albatross coming back so yeah I'm if I've missed anything that you feel is important, check the comments because people will probably put stuff in there. But yeah, that's like the basics and don't forget you can walk around as well. But that's just the basics of running your carrier. Getting a one shield island. How to control stuff. Um, some logistics, how to go on the helm. I didn't really go into these. <clears throat> I've got guides for these, but basically uh, AA missiles, if a aircraft comes close, these will flash and you can press fire. 
and you see always works around 800 meters and if a missile is coming at you or an aircraft these will automatically fire providing they're armed you've got um, torpedoes which I'm not going to go into because I've got two tutorial guides on them you've got flares yeah hopefully that's okay for you let me know what you think in the comments and if you haven't already please like and subscribe thanks very much bye bye